Welcome to the Tips and Tricks video series for Interaction. Today I'm going to show you how to archive unneeded folders and then how to restore them again should you need to do so. Archiving allows you to reduce the number of folders from your view so that you're only seeing those that are currently being utilized and those that are most important. Archiving is only done in the Windows client and you'll need to have system administrator rights to do so. Once logged in, just right click on the folder that you want to archive choose Edit Folder, and from here you'll choose the Security View. The first thing you'll do is you'll want to switch the folder ownership over from the current owner to the administrator. So clicking or choosing that Folder Owner tab and typing in your administrator name for interaction, you'll get confirmation, choose a yes and then OK. And then the next step, once you've switched over the ownership, is you'll want to go through and remove access rights to all others on this folder. In this case, I'll, I'll highlight the Chicago office and choose Delete, and then Yes. And then I'll delete the uh, previous folder owner, if you will. Of course, when I remove those access rights, it removes the folder from those individuals' view as well. From the security, now I'll go into the general view. And from here, you'll want to change or adjust the name of the folder. We recommend referencing in some way that you've archived the folder, and then choosing the date. Whatever naming convention you have, you'll want to make sure it includes the date. Once you've named or renamed the folder, you'll come down to type. Currently, the type when you choose the drop-down menu only shows you the current types available for the folder now. But in order to see all folder type options, choose the Show All checkbox. And from here, you'll choose the Administrative Folder Archive, and then choose OK. Doing so removes the folder from the marketing list, which is where my folder was, and it brings it up into the Archived Folder view. This, of course, also removes it from others' view as well. But let's say that someone needs to access information from that folder. Easy enough to do. That's one of the benefits of archiving folders versus deleting, is that you can always restore the folder. Let me show you how. Just a, a right-click on the folder you want to restore and choose Edit Folder. If need be, from the general view, you can adjust the name. But most importantly, you'll want to look at the type, and you'll want to choose the Check All checkbox, and then put the folder in wherever it's most convenient um, or makes most sense to return the folder to its previous state, perhaps. So I'm bringing it back into the Marketing List folder. Of course, if I left it right now, nobody else would have access, so I need to go into Security and uh, perhaps change folder owner, or you could leave it as is, depends on the situation. But most importantly, I'll want to add those that need access to it. Let's say it's members of my marketing team. I'll choose the marketing members, choose OK, and then I'll close. It brings the folder, archived folder, from the administrative folders and back down into the marketing list so that others now can access that folder again. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information and more in-depth training opportunities, please visit the LexisNexis University website at LexisNexisUniversity.com slash university. Thank you.